Hey guys, I'm really excited. I got to set up my helmet so that I have my moto cam. You can actually hear me as I'm talking and I'm narrating, so super cool. So today we are going to head off to a monastery. We're going to go on the Royal Enfield. We got a nice little general public. I got Alex from Poland. You might have seen her on my India videos because she was actually part of the Great Indian Block Train. We were both invited here to Nepal by the tourism government for the same thing, basically, for helping promote tourism in Nepal. So us and like 30, 40 other bloggers were invited, and here we are. So she decided to stay a few days extra. I decided to stay a few days extra jump on this motorcycle so we can go for an adventure let's uh, head on to the monastery all right so today's a very good day because it's saturday it's the weekend usually these streets are so crowded today it is super relaxed i usually get a lot of dust and contamination in the air i'm doing the best oh oh no there's an accident Look at that. It is pretty crazy and chaotic, and that happens very common. That's about the fourth accident I've seen here in Kathmandu in the last uh, last few days. Yeah, you definitely have to be so careful driving these roads. The way I like to describe it is you have to fight fire with fire. You need to drive just as aggressive and crazy as these other people because that's the normality. So if you want to stand out, do your turn signal everywhere, you're going to put yourself at a greater risk than if you just uh, do exactly as the locals do. Even though it may seem illegal, it's definitely much safer for you. You just got to be brave and uh, just go for it. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> just got to do it. So the laws of Nepal are very simple. Whoever has the biggest pair of, you know what, of courage, I would like to say, uh, is the one who goes first. You got to be a little brave, a little daring when you're driving the streets here. This is the way that I love to travel and I will always travel the rest of my life because you feel so free, you feel so in tune with the people. No other substitute for an experience like this. Freedom is the biggest thing to me because as a backpacker, you're kind of constrained for walking around, train schedules, bus schedules, flight schedules. And on the motorcycle, you can just do whatever. Stay as long as you want somewhere and films and I have to stop and talk to the camera and set things up. It's certainly the best option for me. I just can't get over how wonderful driving a motorcycle is around the world. It gives me peace and tranquility. Oh. This is uh, Alex's very first motorcycle ride ever. So you're picking one of the more crazy places to ride a motorcycle. And she said, oh, I didn't know that. I'm like, yep, this uh, Nepal is definitely on my list, top list of uh, crazy, chaotic places to drive. Check it out, she's actually navigating for me, so she's holding my phone since I don't have, uh, I don't have a little mount to hold my phone. Jenkuya. <laughs> thank you in Polish. Yeah, I know. So Jenkuya means thank you in Polish. So freaked out that I remember that. So I got to give a big thanks to Royal Brothers. They're a company based out of India and they actually do motorcycle rentals all over India and all over Nepal. And they reached out to me and they said, hey, if you're ever in Nepal or India, we want to rent you a motorcycle. I said, in Delhi, I'll have another bike. And in Mumbai, I'll have another bike. If you guys want to rent a motorcycle from them, uh, there's a coupon code for 10% off at the bottom of this video in the description. Now I'm making it through the more rural parts of Kathmandu. Oh, there's my phone. Right, we made it to the Kopan Monastery. The view, as you see behind, over there, at the monastery, which is over there. So we're gonna take a little walk around and uh, show you what this place is all about. So all along this wall, you have different quotes uh, about how to live your life and about life in general. Alright, that was a very cool visit to the monastery. So if you have an opportunity here in Kathmandu, be sure to check it out. So now we're gonna make our way down the road here and uh, head back to the hostel. Look at that, everybody's out today enjoying the uh, nice sun. 
So there's one thing I've learned is never travel through India and Nepal during monsoon season and the summer. You are going to melt. And man, it rains and it is so hot and muggy right now. Sweating profusely. Pretty impressed with the way this bike handles the off-road. And it's a super light bike. I'm a fan of the uh, Royal Enfield Himalayan. Oh man, we are really out in the boonies today here. Oh my gosh. Try not to hit anybody is the idea here. Right, I gotta say that the Nepalese are pretty passionate about their mm, soccer here. I think there's a championship thing going on because there's uh, some trophies over there in the middle. Bit of a Nepalese traffic jam. Nobody like, quite knows what's happening here. Bigger Courage is the one who goes first. That's the uh, Nepalese way of life here. Look at this, there is no space for anything. For learning how to drive a motorcycle, this is probably not a good country to learn at. Let's go, little lady. There you go. A little suggestion for you guys looking to drive here in Nepal is you always have to expect things going wrong. So at any point, there's gonna be a motorcycle just like this, like gets in your way. So you always wanna have enough room to your left and your right in case that happens. I like to be kind of like in the middle here. And I don't like to do silly stuff like this to the right. Otherwise, you're gonna get in other people's way just like you got in my way. Basically, help prevent accidents is the idea here. Yeah, but people here are very aggressive. And it's the same philosophy as India and a lot of Asian countries is that everybody's in a hurry to get nowhere. That's, that's pretty much it. We actually hit 50 kilometers per hour. Right, here's the real Kathmandu here is uh, look at all this dust. Ugh. That's why you see everybody wearing masks on the motorcycle. It's the pollution and the dust is pretty bad here. So do what I did and that's just buy yourself a little mask because you don't want to be breathing this stuff in. Now, if you're here for a day or two or even a week, you're going to be fine usually. I've traveled the world for five, seven years without a mask. It's, it's just, it's okay. It's not a big deal. People walk in, cars, pollution, dust. Yep, this is truly the authentic Nepal experience on the motorcycle. Car going completely the wrong way on the street. Welcome to Nepal. It's all right, it's half the fun. Just gotta be careful. All right, don't hit me. Hello, random crazy dude. Ah, check out this cute little trike. Look at that. All right. Hey, that's disgusting. That is a disgusting thing you did, sir. People spitting. This car and I have the same idea, trying to take a turn here. <laughs> oh man, you gotta be a little crazy to drive here in Nepal. 